Hmm. It is faster. Kinda. Ooh, okay, if I press the button, it'll cancel out. Oh, I can finally come over here. It doesn't look like I can run into encounters while I'm on this bunny, so I'm free to explore. I doubt I can use him in a cave. Or something. Huh. Hmm. What happens now? Okay. Okay. Um... Well, one, that was definitely worth doing if we have a n new way to just completely avoid encounters as I traverse the world map. Although, the fact of the matter is, is that we can go to the demon world right now, which means we're pretty much in game. And so, come on, come on bunny was gotten a little too late as far as I'm concerned. What the? Oh, you. This is what I actually wanted to check with the bunny was how it would interact with up here. And the bunny just skips it entirely. That's awesome. I don't remember any places like that other than up there. So, yeah, yeah, the bunny's not that awesome. Can you jump this? No. Hmm. Is there anything in this forest? Would the bunny even find it if it was? Like, could the bunny get to Welsh's house? All things considered. Huh. Huh. Okay, well, I'll stop hugging the wall. Those are the private actions for Portmouth. Last time we got a bunny, which definitely worked in my opinion. Let's see what we get this time. Millie should be over here if there's nothing new with her. Okay. Shouldn't be anybody in ye old item shop over there. Over here, I think, is the bar, right? And Bia should be in here. Okay. Nothing new with her. Yoshua should just be walking. No, he changed location. Were you just a part of Parichi's private action? Whenever I go strolling through a town, it reminds me of the times when I used to go on walks with my sister. Ah, uh, don't remind me. Don't remind me how we've just completely screwed you over, Yoshua. Well, she's still sleeping. Cool, cool. Um... Richie, would you be up here by default? No. Hopefully I don't have to go running around castles to find private actions. Nope. So, three of you should be at the port. Parichi, Ilya, and Ronix should all be down here at the port. This Parichi again. I don't see my friends anywhere. We just found one of your friends. Come to think of it, I haven't seen any lesser fell pool besides you. I don't think her friends are necessarily lesser fell pools. I was traveling because I heard rumors about my friends, but then Velkin's gang kidnapped me. Uh, question, why did they kidnap you? Wow, where could my friends be? I need more where to go parents, on. Parents, Parichi? My mommy wanted me to fend for myself, like a grown-up. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. She left me in Portmouth. She said I was old enough to handle myself. Well, you can still go back to see her any time, right? Uh, 
Oh, that was it? Oh. Where can my friends be? I need more to go on than just the word friends. Mmm, I love this ocean breeze. Oh, hi Roddy. What's up? Ugh. Okay, that was just another one with Parigi. Mmm. Let me run out, come back in, do another uh, look around, and I'll see if I find anything. Oh, Fia moved. Uh, Fia? See us. You! What the hell are you doing here? Getting your liquor on first thing in the afternoon, I see. How lovely. <sighs> Do you have any idea what happened while you were getting plastered in here? What? Your father, Lord Lias, was killed! What? Don't play around! How can he be dead? He wouldn't just get killed like that! Your father was attacked by an assassin from the demon world. I was framed for the murder, so I had no choice but to flee Astral. Framed? The assassin probably disguised itself as me, so Lord Lias hardly fought back at all. Damn it! Where are you going? Forget about me! I'll deal with this myself. Uh, beer? Wait, what the? Where am I? Beer? I'm sorry. You leave me alone for a moment. Okay, that was that private action. That's all there was to it, apparently. Uh, I was about to say for a minute, was that like a mess up or something? Because we definitely don't have Seas. I didn't expect to see him again, ever. So I guess if we go back to Astral, we'll see something with Seas again, perhaps? This is it everyone, it's time for us to defeat Asmodeus in the demon world. Oh no it ain't, we gotta come back in here again, do more private actions. This place is just chocked full of them. Ooh, see you guys if I find something. Parichi. You're out of place again, or maybe this is where you would be without a private action. I love towns. They're just... Ugh. So much to see that it never gets boring. Oof. Okay, Welsh is there. Ilya and Ronix. Nope. They've moved. Oh, God. Oh, these? Not the earrings again. People, please. Who notices a woman wearing new earrings this frequently? A tall, dark stranger gave me these as a present before we were reunited, Captain. Rotic. Tall, dark stranger. Okay. I... I see. Oh, come on, Captain. I figured you'd at least have more to say about it than just that. You're no fun at all. What? It was Roddick. Roddick? He gave those to you? I think that made it worse. Oh, Captain, not you two. I'm just teasing. He didn't mean anything by it. You don't know that. What do you mean, not me too? Yeah, Millie was pretty jealous too. <laughs> cute. Well, Roddick didn't find it funny, that's for sure. Let's eavesdrop even harder. I thought he would be a little more concerned than that. Why don't you buy something from Millie while we're here? Oh, stop picking on me like that. <laughs> uh, also, I can't buy things from Millie. The only way to raise affection with people outside of doing these, I think, is to craft portraits, I think, or make books. I forget what it is. It's something. Anyway, oh my god, wait, 
Joshua, tell me about the demon world. I gotta come back in here again to make sure I've exhausted everything. So, coming back. Millie is MIA. That would be terrifying if it wasn't Millie. If it was Fia, that'd be terrifying. Because, never know what Fia might do. <laughs> oh, at least stop messing with Fia. Okay, Millie's pieced out. Where did she go, though? We have to find her because she clearly has a private action now. If she's not in her default location, Millie wouldn't be at the bar. Let's just be real here. The armory or armor store? Not in the town square. I see that. Will we play a game of hide and seek that I was unaware of? What do you mean I found you? What are you doing here? Me? Oh, I was just wondering if you'd go find me if I turned up missing. You were the first person I noticed missing. Of course. Huh? Isn't it obvious? Of course I'd look for you. Really? Why, thanks, Roddick. I'm glad to hear that. I guess you did go looking for me earlier, didn't you? You have no idea how much I appreciated that. Uh, just so we're on the same point, Millie, I was looking for you, and the instant I found you, the first words I heard you say were, Roddick, I hate you. Well, anyway, that was the private action for this time. Now we go out, come back in, see anybody is out of place. <sighs> This place is chocked full of private actions. Oh my god. Parichi. We're going to the demon world. That's so scary. But I know I'll be fine if I'm with you guys. Yup, yup. Let's go again. Millie is missing again? Another one with Millie? Huh. Well, Millie wouldn't be at the bar, but I'm gonna check just to see if Fia's missing. Okay, Fia's there. Millie's missing again. Is she playing hide and seek again? That's the question. Or is this gonna be her new default? Oh no, she's right here. Hey, Roddick, how do you think Dorn's doing right now? I think he's basically in a coma. Hmm. <laughs> I hope he's having a nice dream, at least. Uh, what? Yeah, you're right. I sure hope so. Dorn! Dorn, is that you? Huh? Oh, Dorn, thank heavens! You look wonderful! Whoa, whoa, I'm not Dorn. I'm Dern. You got the wrong man. <laughs> uh, what are we? I, I forget. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Are we like 200 years in the past? Or 500? I forget. Ah. Millie, calm down. This guy couldn't be Dorn. You know where Dorn is. Yeah, he's in the future. Oh, forgive me. It's just that you look so much like him. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Besides... I have no objections to comely young lasses hugging me out of the blue. <laughs> That's darn all right. I am so sorry, sir. So I look just like this Dorn person, do I? Absolutely. The face, the voice, it's like you're twins. Or ancestors. He's a very good friend of ours. Well, huh. I'd like to meet him sometime. Bring him over next time you're here, okay? Uh... <sighs> Sorry, I must have said something to hit a nerve somewhere. Oh no, it's not that. It's just that... Dorn's seriously ill at the moment. He's still alive, though. Oh. Then I hope he gets well soon. He could. If we had your blood. Yeah, thank you. 
You two must be travelers. I haven't seen you around here before. Where is your destination? The demon world. We go to fight Asmodeus, the Archfiend. We're on a journey to find a cure for Dorn's illness, actually. It's turning out to be a very difficult task, but we've got to do it. I see. Sounds like Dorn sure is a lucky guy. Me, I'm running stupid errands for my mother again. No matter how hard I try, no one ever thanks me for my trouble. <laughs> Dorn used to whine about that sort of thing all the time, too. About all the stupid errands he had to do. Really? Wow, I feel like we're best friends already. <laughs> you even talk like Dorn, Dern. Oop, I better get going soon, else my mom will get mad at me. Sorry for taking up your time. No, oh, not at all. It was fun talking with you. See you later, then. Say hello to my twin brother for me, will ya? Bye-bye. Let's get that cure for Dorn as fast as we can. Right. Ooh, that was another private action. Which means we gotta reset. Go out, private action, come back in. Ooh, meet and Dern. That was... Mm, had me going for a minute. Hopefully we didn't change the past too drastically. So that Dorn was never born. I don't even know that's how the game worked. It can't work that way. There's no way it could work that way because we're coming into the past to destroy Asmodeus. Millie is gone again? Oh my. Okay. Is she still in front of the shop? Is like that her new default location or am I getting something wrong? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it was just a sign that was pink. I don't know why I thought Millie for a second. She wouldn't be at the bar. It's not the type of girl she is. Are you over here again? Are you in here? No. Okay, now she's legit missing. The hunt for Millie continues. Hmm. Barichi, I guess that's where you're supposed to be now, huh? Yeah. That's where Welsh is gonna be. Are you over here? Ilya's missing. So you two would be together somewhere. Up here? Excuse me? No. Where did I... I didn't go into the item shop. Are they at the end of this dock? No. Okay, the item shop is all I have to check. Or I guess downstairs in the inn. And then random houses. Let's go downstairs first. Or they could be in the castle. I would loathe it if they were in the castle. These rooms are occupied, so nobody's showing up there. We can check in here. Oh, a picture book. Oh, hey, Elia. Yeah, there was a picture book stuck in between the skill books. I remembered it from back when I was a kid, so I wound up reading it again. That book's hundreds of years old, Millie. Are there any legends or fairy tales passed down in your world, Elia? Oh, of course, lots of them. Really? Like what? I'd love to hear some. Okay, let me think of one you would like, Millie. How about the story of a poor little girl who winds up getting married to a handsome prince? Ooh, a prince. That sounds great. Hmm, hope I still remember it all. <clears throat> let me try to think of this. Poor little girl married to a handsome prince. I hope you are not about to tell her this story of Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a pretty sweet girl who lived with her father, her stepmother, and her two older stepsisters. Yup. Hmm. The girl's father died of an illness one day, 
And after that, her stepmother and stepsisters began treating her like a maid. Wickedly abused by her stepmother, the girl was made to wear rags like a peasant. Oh, that's terrible. Poor girl. Then one day, an invitation arrived from the castle. The prince was holding a ball to seek a bride for himself. Ooh, a ball? How romantic! The girl wanted to attend the ball, but her wicked stepmother laughed at her. Ha! Huh, do you think they'll let you into the castle dressed in those pauper's rags? How could she be so mean? Trust and believe, she's way meaner than how Illy is making her out to be. The girl wound up tending to the house while the others were gone, softly crying to herself. Suddenly, a kind fairy godmother appeared and told her something amazing. Young girl, how would you like to go to the castle? A fairy godmother? Um, well, I guess you could think of her as a very strange and mysterious woman who can make all your wishes come true. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so jealous. I wish I could meet a fairy godmother someday. I don't think they exist in real life, sadly. They're just make-believe. But anyway. The fairy godmother cast a spell on a pumpkin and some mice who were nearby. Suddenly, the pumpkin turned into a coach and the mice into a team of beautiful white horses. Wow! The girl couldn't believe her eyes as the fairy godmother then went on to transform her rags into a stunning dress. She was already a beautiful girl, but with the new dress on, she looked every bit like a real princess. I have one more gift for you, the fairy godmother said. These are not magic, so they will never disappear. With that, she gave the girl a pair of glass slippers. Hold up, was that specified in the original Cinderella? Well, I don't know the original. I know the Disney version. But, like, I don't believe that it was specified that the slippers were not magical. Glass slippers? Goodness, that sounds beautiful. I'd love to try some of those on. <laughs> I bet you would. I doubt there's a girl in my world who hasn't fantasized about that. Anyway, the fairy godmother followed up the gift with a stern warning. Wait, how did I... Oh, it was auto-progressing. My magic will fade away at the stroke of midnight. Make sure you return home, not a single moment later. So it all disappears at midnight? I thought magic lasted forever. When the girl reached the castle, the other guests couldn't help but sigh at her dazzling beauty. The prince fell in love with her at first sight, and he immediately offered to dance with her. I know not which kingdom does your presence grace, he said, but may I have this dance? Oh, yes, of course, the girl shyly answered. <gasps> but the evening flew by in a flash, and before the girl knew it, the clock was already striking twelve. Oh no, that's when her magic goes away, isn't it? The girl ran out of the castle in a rush, but she lost one of her glass slippers in the process. The prince made chase, but was left standing outside dumbfounded, with the missing slipper in his hand. That's terrible. Several days later, a royal messenger arrived at the girl's house. The prince is searching for the owner of this glass slipper, he said. The one whom this slipper fits shall be chosen to become the prince's bride. Oh, wow, that's perfect. There couldn't be anyone else who'd fit in that slipper, could there? Many people. Ah, but the wicked stepmother and stepsisters locked the girl away from the messenger. The stepmother only allowed her own two daughters to try it on, claiming them to be the only maidens of the house. Oh, no! How could she? The stepsisters tried to fit the glass slipper on their feet. However, the slippers were made for someone with far smaller feet than theirs. It was quite impossible to put on. She must be nervous, the stepmother said. Let her try it on over in the other room. With that, they went inside. The stepmother then hacked the toes off of one of her daughters to make the slipper fit. <laughs> you... You've been good about giving 
this tale like a, a G rating so far, Ilya. Why? Why? The stepsister put the slipper on her smaller foot and went back to the messenger. I accidentally pressed it. This must be the what? The messenger exclaimed excitingly, whisking away from the house. Just then, however, a little bird exclaimed, She's a fake! The messenger took another look and was shocked to find that the glass slipper was covered in blood. Oh my god, Ilya. Ew, I don't like stuff like that. Yes, thank you. Oh, but there's still more, Millie. Oh god, no. Giving up on the stepsister, the messenger decided to return to the castle. Suddenly, he heard someone exclaim, Wait! Amazingly enough, it was the girl, still locked inside the house. And when she tried on the slipper, it was a perfect fit. Luckily, it had been lubricated with loads of blood. The messenger was overjoyed. He placed the girl on a coach to the castle, and she and the prince were soon married. Oh, and they lived happily ever after, didn't they? No last second twist, Ilya. Oh, yes. Her stepmother and wicked stepsisters were at the ceremony, of course. But the little bird who warned the messenger swooped down and pecked their eyes out and... Oh my god, Ilya. Ah, stop saying things like that. <laughs> you messed up, Ilya. There's something more to that story than it seems, isn't there? No. No. I hate scary stories. Really, Ilya, you felt the need to torture Millie. Thanks for that. Thanks. <sighs> Can we finally leave Portmouth, people? Can we? No. I'll never leave. And I don't know when I'm going to cut this part. But I want to save. And take a break. So if this isn't the end of the video. Regardless. There is going to be a cut. Back to the starting point. Save over it. I need a break. And I need to purge. Friggin Ilya's rendition of that story from my mind maybe that was the original maybe the original not Disney version of that story is that I didn't need that thanks Ilya till next time